Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse. So I'm currently at school with my friend Jill. And Hi. yeah, this is my morning, literally doing nothing. I'm just so tired. It's a Wednesday morning, Wednesday. Um, yeah, the period's gonna be over in like five minutes. Really not an exciting day at all, but I figured I'd show you guys what I'm doing because I'm doing Vlogmas, so. Anything you wanna say, Jill? Come. The library is a central place. You guys should all go to libraries. Stay in school, kids. Okay. Stay in school, read books. Hey guys, so I'm just coming back from school now. I'm in the car, so you guys saw earlier my clip with my friend Jillian. Um, we were just studying in the library together, nothing crazy. But um, I really wanted to vlog after school today just because um, it's a quarter to four o'clock, which is late for me to get out of school. And the reason why I stayed after is because today, um, my women's studies teacher slash like my like feminism club advisor, um, and I, as well as like a few of like my close friends, we wanted to speak to the principal of the middle school. And the reason why is because there has been a few instances in the middle school where um, a few teachers, as well as like a lot of students um, are confused on what feminism even means. And they try to, in a way, shut down um, like this feminism club and change the name and all of this stuff. So we really just want to make an assembly and get every middle schooler together to teach them that feminism is actually a good thing and that it's all about equality. It's not about um, misogyny or feeling superior or having like genders be superior over each other. So to do that, we wanted to have an assembly and we're just talking about different ideas that we could do at the assembly. So um, one of the ideas um, that I proposed was getting a few boxes together and then obviously people like kind of expanded on ideas and it was just a great conversation, but getting a few boxes together and having as many people as we could try to fit inside these boxes. And by doing that, obviously people would see that um, you can't fit 20 people into a single box. That's just not possible and it's not it just doesn't work. So the point of that is to show that that box represents gender norms and that you know, not everyone is going to confine to gender norms and that you just, you shouldn't have to. Everyone is their own person to really show individuality and have everyone, their, like give everyone their own box. And then my friend Jordan even said, we could even do something like get like a few boxes out and then label them with like different things like, like girly characteristics, like guy characteristics, like whatever those are and just different characteristics and have people in the audience like raise their hand to see if they like doing this like, oh, do you like to play sports or do you like studying? Do you like to do math? Like just like a whole bunch of like random things. And then obviously people are going to raise their hand like multiple times through different boxes. And that's just to show that everyone interests varies and it's not just one thing that you're interested in. So we want to have this assembly and we just got the conversation going. We want to get our friends in it and other middle schoolers in it especially. So I think it was just like a really good meeting and oh, this was this was such a good day. I'm so like the entire day, the, for a long time I've been looking forward to this. So finally that it happened, we're going to meet again to propose even more ideas and get everything together so I'm excited and now I'm just going home because um, I'm going home obviously and there's a camera waiting for me at home um, for a new vlogging camera so I'll try to show that to you guys when we get home oh my god I'm like oh 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 hey guys okay so there's a flip screen this is pretty distracting I don't know what to do with myself Hey guys, hopefully you can see a major, major difference in quality, in sound, in just lighting, everything totally. I have really low battery on this, so I'm gonna keep it short and simple. But I really wanted to show you guys um, the advent calendar, which is pretty exciting. So here we have the advent calendar right at our fingertips. I'm gonna find number two, and I'm gonna open it. Holla. Oh, this is a pretty big one. Do you guys? Do you guys see this? The struggle is so real. What is this? Oh, ooh, it smells smells like lavender. Oh, and it's shampoo, and it's... Oh, and it's lavender. Oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. It's... This is nice. I've never tried their shampoo, so I'm excited to use this. Thanks. Thanks, Lussie Tam. Great, great advent calendar. Hey guys, currently at Starbucks working on a paper. I'm with my friend Fiona over there. You guys have seen her in like two years ago. So yeah, we're just like working on stuff. Probably gonna go to Chipotle later. So that's an update on my life. So I'm at Starbucks. Um, I wanted to continue this vlog because I felt like it was too short in all honesty. So I just figured I'd tell you guys what I'm doing. So my teacher, we're reading Hamlet in AP Lit right now. And we have all these questions to do and they're due Monday. So I do have a lot of time to do them. But the thing is, there's a lot of them and this weekend is just crazy busy. Oh my gosh, I can vlog this weekend. Okay, that made me excited. I wanted to vlog, so um, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of things. I don't wanna give anything away yet because you guys will see it soon. 
So yeah, but anyways, I wanna get like a lot of it done today if I can, and then work on studying a little bit for my AP environmental quiz on Friday, if it's still Friday, because my teacher was asking today. So it's just been like a pretty busy schedule, and then later I'm going to Chipotle with Fiona, so it'll be chill, I hope. I'm just kind of stressed out right now, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Make sure to come back again tomorrow to see my next video for Vlogmas Day number three. I'm getting my eyes dilated, so I'm going to be vlogging without really being able to see anything, so that should be interesting because I have an eye exam. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe if you are not already. Make sure to follow me on all social media, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.